Honor, to witness the monolith of the Traveler. Honor, but please, Corvax, contribute. Take these blueprints, lubricant and acid. Liquid's close to the Corvax's heart. Okay, I'm not going to really ask what you do with lubricant and acid. That's your business. All right, welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are indeed picking up pretty much where we left off. We are still at the base here, and we're working uh, through the quest line. Um, what is the quest called now? It is the Ghost in the Machine quest line um, where right now they just want us to expand our staff in our home and so the next step in that process is to hire a base scientist uh, because we did put the science station in over here in here and we also moved the mining overseer builder overseer dude over here as well um, let's look at this for a second now we can't do anything with it right okay can we access this directly? What is... He's going to tell us, go get the science guy and quit screwing around. Yeah. Oversee... Da, 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 agree to hurry. Okay. This guy's like a little... A little antsy, man. Okay. So let's pop on up to the space uh, station and find ourselves a scientist overseer. And a, he's going to be a Corvax. Uh, so we'll go to space station up to the current... Actually, you know what I'm going to do... Can we find this guy in anyone? I wanted to go back to this station for a minute and just make sure that I I got all of the S-Class modules. I don't remember if I did or not. That was the system that we, a couple of episodes back, that we did all the exploration in. All right, let's just take a look so you can see what these guys have. Um, oh, before we do this, actually, well, here... Uh, purchase upgrade modules. Yeah, we have we have over 12,000 nanites, so we are doing good on nanites. Life support module. Um, you don't have any. That's right. I remember doing this now. So basically, yeah, we don't need we don't need any anything from here. Now the question though is, can we can we find the overseer in this station, or do we have to go to the station in our system? We're looking for a Corvax dude. He's a hireling. He's a scout. We... Didn't we... Yeah, we already talked to this guy. Here, let's grab this. Well, we might as well get some extra nanites whilst we're here. Okay. I'm thinking we probably have to go back to... Our own star system to get the overseer, the scientific overseer. Oh, here it's, okay, here it goes. Potential scientist recruit. And that is in our system, the same one that we're in here, so. Gotcha, okay. One thing I've noticed about this game is that if you pay a little more attention, and sometimes, you know, sometimes I'm, <laughs> I'm not the best at that, um, it it gives you more hints, but you, you have to pay attention, right? Um, and so, yeah, let's see if we can do a little bit better job of that. Not, you know, that's not actually going to happen, but we'll try. <laughs> you guys know me. Okay, we are back here, and we're looking for a Corvax Overseer Scientist guy. And he's probably going to be in the back room, is my guess. Oh, uh, no, he's got the... Here he is right here. He's got the little scientist beaker thing over his head. See? Little hints that the game gives, if you pay attention. Unknown life form. I passed my test. Ehoo, I'm free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have a base? A science terminal? Think of all that might be done. The Corvax is happy, overjoyed to see me. They seem to have just completed some rite of passage for their species, necessitating them to go out into the universe and pursue their interests. The scientist offers to join my base if I provide them with a science terminal. Dude, I've got a science terminal with your name on it. Let's do it. Ehu! Think not of payment. Scanning you while you sleep will be reward enough. Uh, what? That's creepy. 
<laughs> okay, so we've got that done. Let's head on back to the base and do the next thing. Uh, are there any more and I think he's we can grab from here. Uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, no, we've already grabbed that one recently. Back to the base. Hey, look at that. We got some nitrogen. Okay, let's keep making more. And likewise, oxygen harvester. Cool. Let's go talk to our new science buddy. Pure Entity Voyetta. A fine base traveler, as of course benefits your honorable status. Oh, Corvax shall be so happy here. I'm glad to hear it, buddy. Corvax is brimming with enthusiasm. Uh, neither their shell nor the walls of my base seem able to contain them. Request aid. Honor to witness the monolith of the traveler. Honor, but please, Corvax, contribute. Take these blueprints, lubricant and acid. Liquids close to the Corvax's heart. Okay, I'm not going to really ask what you do with lubricant and acid. That's your business. There we go. Okay, cool. So we learned some new stuff. Uh, they are both considered agricultural products. Okay, cool. Harvest Merrill Bulb and Corvax will do more. We'll create plans for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Yeah, see, here's here again. If we would have just done the storyline, we would have learned all that stuff. But it's okay. I, I Again, I have no regrets. I like the way that we're progressing through the game and that's the beauty of this game you can do it any way you want and that's why they gave you the option to learn that stuff before the quest line should you decide to do so which i did so there you go all right the corvax is desperate to please shower me with praise and offers of assistance they tell me travelers are to be honored raised above all others what have i done to earn such esteem that guy doesn't know me very well the scientist requires marrow bulb and cobalt materials found underground they will be able to use the substance to craft blueprints for microprocessors and advanced refiners all right joy our home will be light and our windows will be clean or something like that all right we've completed that objective expand and staff your new home okay let's look at okay now we can report to apollo so that kind of puts us back on the main quest leg uh where is other dude's quest though expanding the base Return to the Overseer. Search an abandoned building for data. Okay, so these just branch off into subquests. Gotcha. Okay. Now, we, we obviously don't need electronics and advanced refiner blueprints, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that we're, we want to do it anyways because then it's going to branch off into uh, other things that we pro probably don't know yet. Okay, um, so why don't we, we have two options. We can continue this base stuff on our base that's not really probably going to be our permanent base. Or we can go back to the main mission and keep working on the main mission. I'm kind of thinking that we can always come back to these other things later on. So let's do that. Let's go back to here. And I think the idea is this kind of got us started and said, here's how you do your base um, and now let's get back to the main storyline kind of thing. So let's do that. All right, so we need to return to space and contact Apollo. Let's do it. We're going to do a quick little save and a doodle here. All right, and oh, I got stuff to put away. Let me do that first, and then when we hop up into space, we will, uh, I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, um, I actually warped back up to the freighter. I want to do a couple things here first before we get started on the quest. So. Uh, we expanded our storage, and so I guess we'll put another one out this way. Uh, this is not the permanent, um, you know, arrangement of any of this stuff by any means, but that way we have access to this up here as well as Devil, even though I haven't put anything in it yet. And probably what we'll do is when we add the sixth storage will slide everything down one that way so they're all even for the time being. The other thing I want to do is our fleet uh, is done. So like I did before, I'm going to read through the logs. If you guys uh, don't want to read through all the logs, just fast forward until the action uh, resumes. And yeah, so let's see what happened here.
Oh, that's it. That was a short one. Okay. Lost cow parsley seeds. Oh, that's cool. Um, let's look at that real quick. Uh, that's going to be probably in the freighter. Wow, 1.7 million? Woo! That was worth the price of admission, ladies and gentlemen. Wowzers. Okay, so let's um let's put that in our suit. And we need to go sell that like now. <laughs> That's that is hugely valuable. Plus we got another 36,000 units on top of that. Okay, let's send this guy out again. We definitely are going to be doing this, you know, building up this fleet thing when the time comes. It's just not my priority right now, but we might as well at least keep this guy working, right? Cuz it's already paying off big time. Um Okay, so Let's do it. I mean, I don't really care. Here, we'll do the ones that take the least amount of time. Uh, okay, assigned and launch expedition. Okay, there he goes. Fan freaking tastic. All right, let's get uh, down to our starship and continue working on the quest line with what's his name? Apollo. Let's see what he's got for us. I forgot. We wanted to sell this thing. Let's do that first before we lose it. So it's it's down a little bit, but you know what? Good enough. It's still 1.5 mil right there. Easy peasy money. Okay. What's up, Apollo? How's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. What are the what are units for if not to assert dominance over your fellow life forms? Okay. Uh, but on to more important things. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there. Not yet, at least. What's that supposed to mean? You can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really. The same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Trade these nanite clusters with merchants and space stations to get the technology you need. Yeah, okay, thanks for letting me know that. Oh, and one last thing. Take this personal force field blueprint. You're going to need it. Consider it a gift. My little investment into our partnership. Personal force field. Don't don't we already have one of those? On activation, this module draws power from life to overload the multi-tool, distorting the uh, creating a powerful personal shield. While this field offers substantial protection against incoming laser fire, the user is advised that the multi-tool cannot be used for other functions while powering the shield. Oh, okay, so this I see. Okay, so we don't have this then. I thought this was just like the shield that we have on our suit, but this is something different. Install Apollo's personal force field in the multi-tool. Installing new technology automatically pins details to your log. Purchase new, larger multi-tools aboard space stations. Right on. Okay, let's um, let's call our freighter over here. Multi-tool, personal force field shield thingy. Oh, we yeah, we gotta we gotta fix this too. Um, that is a fire rate of sixteen and a reload time of three. Yeah, not not as good as what we currently have. So let's take that out of there and we'll store it or sell it. Okay, so multi-tool personal shield. We need to try um, the pulse splitter and the blaze javelin at some point too. Okay, so draws power from the life support systems, but we can't use it. We can't use the multi-tool while this is activated. All right, well that might save our bacon at some point. Collect nanites to buy technology upgrades. Um, raid abandoned buildings for nanites. Return to space to locate an abandoned building. Okay. We already know all this, but let's just go through the motions. We kind of got ahead of the game a little bit. That's all right. Scan C to locate an abandoned building. We have located an abandoned building somewhere over this way. Over this way. Here we go. Let's go check it out. Okay, that's at approximate location. I'm 
guessing this is the location. Uh, I believe I have my cold protection on and charged. Yes, I do. Though, actually, it probably would be better to have this moved down here. So it's maybe bonusing those. I don't know. Okay, let's check out the abandoned building. We'll do all this stuff too. Oh, have I already been here? Because I can't loot these. Oh, I can loot this. Nice. We got no, I can loot those. Okay. It wasn't letting me do the atlas. There we go. I guess I wasn't looking at it quite the right way or something. All right. So do they want us to do the egg thing to get the nanites? Is that the deal here? Yeah, we'll just follow the quest. Pretend like we're discovering all this stuff for the very first time. Okay, get rid of this. Is there a connection between the monoliths and the sentinels? The origins of these ancient structures seem to predate all known civilization. Over time, these structures have become imbued with the beliefs and the histories of the creatures that evolved around them. But what if there was a precursor species that came before us, before us all? One of such infinite knowledge and interstellar power that even after their extinction, their tools remain for us to pour over. Pour? Okay. Uh, like an infant confronted with a fusion reactor. Analyze the data log. And we get some nanites. Uh, there we go. Okay, that should satisfy the quest. Okay, locate a multi-tool technology merchant. Visit the technology merchant aboard the space station. All right, while we're here, we might as well get ourselves some nanites. Did I already loot these? No. I mean, some more nanites. Dude, seriously? Where are you at? Are you one of those ones that cannot be killed? Apparently. All right, that's hacks. What? All right, we better fix that before we mix it up with the the dudes. Enough to fix it. It is indeed. Uh, we need to uh, we need to get our health back up. Oh, also, how do I do personal force field? Plasma launcher, combat scope. Oh. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, so this is like the shield that the Sentinels have. That's useful. Very cool. Um, all right, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Well, let's let's try and stay away from that bastard. Um, there's a health, health thingy in here, and we're actually down a bit. Uh, I need to build the health station at our base. All right, so let's get some first aid. That just gives us one... Cross. Okay. Uh, is there a white case in here too? I don't see it. All right. Well, we'll be we'll be all right. We just gotta be careful. I am the epitome of careful. You guys know that. Okay. I think we're gonna use the shoddy for this. And uh, yeah, let's dance with the uh, the horse.
right, I think that's it. Let's pop back in the building for a moment. And uh, take a look and see what we got here. Okay, so we have a total of 23 of those. Good. Um, now, I'm gonna... This is gonna piss off the Sentinels, but... What we're gonna do is... If we go to... I think it's... milestones isn't there one thing here where we kill horrors I was looking at this yeah here we go 17 of 25 aberrations extinguished let's see if we can get that um, sentinels will get mad but we can kind of continue to hide out in the building here Still have our shield, right? Oh, I thought this pissed off the sentinels. Maybe it doesn't. He's going underground. There's still a couple more over here. We go. Why is he going underground? You know we're gonna kill him. Okay. What does this say now? 23 of 25. Okay, well, we're getting close to accomplishing that little milestone thingy. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing here. Do ourselves a little save point. They're after our, um, yeah, those thingies. Come to Papa. get my um, positron thingy upgraded because it's not very powerful compared to the to the infra knife anyways so we'll work on that but we need more ship slots here we go we are a legend we destroyed 80 starships nice Okay, technology dealer scheme to show me their new stock powerful modification for my multi tool. Very nice. Uh, well, no, it's just a wimpy bolt caster module. Dude, that sucks. Um, here, I'm going to sell it right back to you. It wouldn't have sucked if we were doing this from the beginning, but it sucks for us now. Yeah, we got all but one of our nanites back. Okay, what's next? A class fighter, B class explorer. Install your upgrade module. Uh oh. That 
might be a problem. Can I just install any upgrade module or does it have to be that one? We might have made a little boo-boo here. Um, let's see, multi-tool. Let's uninstall. It doesn't really matter. Oh, uh, here, we'll uninstall this. And then we'll reinstall it. Does that satisfy the quest? When ready, yeah, I think it did. When ready, return to space to make contact with Apollo. Okay. Station's technology emergence on a wide variety of other updates. You don't say. What's up, dude? You are not Gazit alone. Yeah, I've heard that before. I know you, traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you are going. You do? That's a little creepy. Gazit? There is no need to hurry. Ask who they are. Wait, this isn't Apollo? Is it? You will find us when the time is right. Okay. Um. Answer the communi communicator thingy. Here we go. Are you ready? Make sure you are. This job isn't going to be a small one. You might not be heading back to that base of yours for a while. Roger that. We're ready to go. Good. Let the hunt begin. I've detected the Corvax installation on that world of yours. The interference in your transmissions is a giveaway. It might be disguised in the style of another species, but don't be fooled. The synthetics delight in espionage. <coughs> okay, I'm not robotic. I was born just like you were, but this is no world for flesh. My brain, what organs I have left, everything was transferred to the shell. This is who I am. Um, how did that happen? I took my revenge when the time came. That is all you need to know. Okay. So, start from the hypothesis that the Sentinels use these portals to get around. How do they activate it? We need to observe. We need to summon them. And what better way than to attack a secret Corvax factory? They are both robotic life forms. Too much in common, too much coincidence. Hmm. Enter the factory and hack the terminal within. If we gain data about the Sentinels, good. If not, we'll have summoned enough of them to trace any energy spikes on that world of yours. The portals will be ours in no time. All right, download facility location. Apollo nods at me. For the first time, I sense respect in their gesture. The approximate coordinates for the hidden facility are logged into my starship's navigation computer. Okay. There you have it. So... Where... Oh, we're going back this way. Okay, here we go. Alright, I'm just trying to see if I can spot the facility from space. Uh, right here. Okay, this is one of those places we have to break into. And of course, the door's on the other side. Knock, knock. Corvax Operation Center. We need to get the big Atlas Pass for that. Okay. I've been in these before, but I'm not exactly sure what's supposed to happen. I mean, after we do the thingy. Oh, okay. We need pure ferrite, chromatic metal, and sodium. We got the sodium. Uh, I don't have the trans transfer thingy on my ship. Get out of here. we were supposed to solve a riddle, but maybe not. Okay, so we need eight chromatic metal, which I don't have on me. Pure ferrite we can make. Um, okay. So, copper. 
I guess we need to find some copper. Either that, or I could call... Yeah, let's let these guys get out of here. They're deactivated. All right. Can we call our freighter to us? Oh, we got a milestone. What is it? Destroyer of glass. We've killed 80 sentinels. Yay us. There we go. Okay. Let's go up there and get some chromatic metal. You know, too, we should not have any difficulty finding this place, but just in case, just in case, we are going to pop that down. Okay. Oh, I completely forgot about this classy ship that we found. <laughs> um, okay. We can... Oh, there's our chromatic metal right there. Let's break that thing down. Uh, but we still need to also get some pure ferrite. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to take this uh, and sell it. I guess... I mean, I suppose we could do that right now really quick. It won't take that long. I'm just going to grab some pure ferrite out of here, too. I know that's way more than we actually needed. And whilst we're here... I know we're getting sidetracked, but... Let's make some nanites real quick. These go very quickly. Okay, that takes care of that. Let's go over to the space station and sell this hunk of junk. Oh, you guys explained to me too in the comments, Cajun Sam in particular, uh, which I very much appreciate, how, how the whole ship thing works with the freighter. So, if I change my ship, like, for example, when, you know, when I uh, salvage this and then I switch back over to my main starship, this, this gets left behind and doesn't come up to the freighter unless I manually summon it with this option here, okay? Which I'm not going to do right at the moment. And if I do that, then it actually switches places with the other one. But as soon as the freighter, it's either the freighter or myself leaves the star system and goes to another star system, then any ships that we left behind are automatically teleported to the freighter. Uh, and I'm, I appreciate that comment in particular because that was always confusing to me. I couldn't really figure out any rhyme or reason to it. And now I understand how it works, and that is wonderful. 1.8 mil for this. It's classy, so that's to be expected, but still, 1.8 mil. That doesn't suck. Alright, did we happen to get an augmentation? We did not. Okay, we have a higher chance of getting an augmentation with a class. No, that would have been a class A. Because we got A modules, so I guess that was a class A. We just didn't get them. They're not guaranteed. Okay, so let's sell uh, that. No, I don't want to sell that. Uh, this right here. We definitely have better Starship Shield upgrades. Oh, you know what? I don't want... That's toxic protection. Okay, yep. Good enough. All right, where's our marker that we put down? It should be, like, directly below us. Well, not directly below us. Oh, it's, it's over here. Oh, it's still, it kept it marked for us. All right. I didn't know if it would or not, so. Fix, fix. Zzz. The terminal houses an upgrade module for my exosuit. However, I find, however, I find few clues for Apollo. It seems the Corvax within left this world many days ago. Apparently, recalled on a priority transmission to their specials th to their species flotilla. Something has them worried. Probe the factory locks. This place seems to have been more than just a factory. It was a home to the Corvax who lived within its walls. It appears that there were ex that they were experimenting with autonomy for their collective. Examine video feeds. One of the internal sensors has recorded movement within the facility. It shows me footage of the vents at my feet. There is something in here with me. Shine a light upon it. I shine a light upon it. 
It's a small hairy creature, shaking and afraid. It cries out. The animal appears to have lived here for quite some time. There is a nest in the corner, vestiges of food upon a small dish, even a clumsy, a few clumsy toys and trinkets. The animal seems to have been a companion to the Corvax. My scanner tells me the creature is gravely ill. It will die no matter what intervention occurs. Um, can what? I don't have any carbon on me to feed the poor feller. My scanner tells me the creature is gravely ill. It will die no matter what intervention occurs. That could be a lie, though. Maybe. I don't know. Um, let's just not do anything. I do nothing for the creature. It begins to cry, but, event, but even that soon fades. Eventually, it retreats back into the darkness of its tunnels. I move on from the factory complex, leaving the animal to its fate. Sorry. If I would have had carbon on you, I would have fed you, buddy. Had no idea I needed to do that. A leap in the dark. Return to space and contact Apollo. Now, can I... I guess I can't do anything more with this. Okay, did we get all the loot skis out of here? I think we did. Uh, we still have sentinels out here. Let's blow them up because we can. Get rid of this guy. Okay, let's go back in. Stupid healers. Gotta prioritize them, man. Reload. There we go. Now we should be able to take this guy out. He, he's not taking any damage because he's like stuck in the building. Hmm. Okay. Did we? De we must have de-escalated. Okay, well, did we pick up some uh, more purple glass? Yes, we did. Let's see what we get. Sentinel weapon shard. What does that do? Fire rate damage. Nah, not so good. All right, guys, we are out of time in this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you in uh, the very next episode where we will probably work on a freighter. I want to get some work done on the freighter. So I think that's what we'll do. See ya.